hello crafty peeps welcome back to my channel crafty ish Kristen. today i am going to be working on this cross stitch conversion project that i started in january it is from unconventional cross stitch and it is entitled van gogh never leveled up it is by aja trier trier not sure i keep meaning to look and i never do um the finished Stitch count is 20, uh, no, 200 by 200 stitches. Uh, and that equals, I believe, 40,000 stitches. This is how far I have gotten on this project. And we're gonna talk about this. Um, I originally planned on doing this in two canvases. Oh, now it's pouring down rain outside. And then I would hook them uh, but mm, I got some issues. <laughs> You're like, you only have a few issues. No, I got lots of issues. So my, one of my problems, right? The rendering I think is fine. There's, I, I may have put a wrong color in here and there. Uh, but this is a crown jewel canvas. And I don't know, I don't know if it's just this canvas or it's how crown jewel canvases are because I've never had one. Uh, the glue is definitely not what I am used to. It behaves more like a double-sided adhesive than a poured glue canvas. And another thing is my drills keep falling off. So here's one right here that it's just gone. Oh, there's, <laughs> there's another one and there's another one. I don't know if that is a result of this canvas or it's the drills that I am using. Uh, if, excuse me, I mainly used art dot drills and I did substitute. This was my paper that I came up with. Uh, I did have some colors that were, um, more than a thousand so i got from j to gem shop oh that's only one of the pages but i think there were only six colors that had more than a thousand i just i don't know guys i every time i sit down to work on this i think to myself it's fine it's fine it's fine you're overreacting and every time i work on it i am so frustrated it doesn't have, oh, there's another drill that just fell off. It doesn't have that smooth feeling you get when you have square drills and they're all uniform. And even, even though most of these are from the same company, uh, they are not uniform. Oh, there's, there's another one missing. Uh, they feel bumpy and just not good not good they're not uniform in size there is so much gapping I, I don't know if you can really it doesn't look as bad on camera but they're not uniform there's gapping i can see the white of the canvas through which on my other conversion project with the resin drills i cannot see it as much as i can see it on this one um, it's just, it's not enjoyable at all. And I hate, I hate saying that because I don't want to give up on it. Um, I sat down today and I said, okay, just finish this section, do this section right here. Okay. Just put, put all your preconceived notions and your biases and all that, put it out of your brain and just work on the section. And I have been so frustrated with this section right now. And my husband's like, why are you torturing yourself? Why are you torturing yourself? So I would like to finish this section. So we're going to work on that. And we can do a little more chit chatting while I do that. So let me zoom in and do all that. And I will be right back. All right, we are zoomed in. Um, I'm not going to be able to show the tablet and the pattern at the same time. Because uh, yeah. Let me push this little button. Hopefully it auto locks on the right place. Uh, before I forget, I hope everyone is doing great. Um, I am doing okay, <laughs> besides being frustrated. And another thing about this canvas is that these art dot drills, a lot of them were really dirty and dusty. 
and everybody's like, you should just wash them. There are 96 colors. I do not have the, the patience or the effort to wash 96 colors worth of drills. If I would have thought of it and did it before, um, I put them in their little bottles, that might have been different, but yeah. And again, it's just one more thing that this canvas is just, it's like there's this list of, <laughs> list of things. And so I put, <laughs> I put new Alien Buddy in this pen. All right. I literally put it in there right before I started on this section. I have done 384 diamonds and it is already getting to the point where the diamonds aren't like that one. It just literally, it didn't stick on there that the diamonds are falling off of the pen. I used the same alien putty in a pen this weekend and I probably, I don't know, I probably diamond painted a total of like, I don't know, maybe six hours on and off here and there. And I didn't have to stab it. I didn't have to rotate it. I didn't have to do anything. Um, so yeah, the drills, the drills are a mess. The, the canvas is a mess. It's just, I don't want to quit. Like I feel, and not that I have like a pressure from any other person in my life saying, you have to finish this. You have to finish this. You started it. Nobody is saying that it's more pressure that I am putting on myself because yes, I did spend money on this canvas. Oh, I have spent the money on two of these canvases and I don't know if I even want to attempt to try to use the other one. Um, just because I'm worried it's going to be the same thing. It, I don't know. And, and I'm not the straightest drill placer. So I do know that. And I acknowledge that. See, my pen just literally fell off. I, yeah. I don't know. I keep thinking, just try it again. Try it again. You know, it'll be fine. It's just, you are being over dramatic which I know, shocking. Uh, I just, yeah, it's just not, it's not doing it for me. If I have to force myself to work on something, then I don't feel like that's, that's something I should be working on. And if I have to go back every time I work on this and put drills back where they were and to try to, I mean, I cannot straighten these. Once they're down, they are down. And I just, yeah, it's, mm, it's like, I don't want to give up though. I really don't want to give up because I, I want to finish this image because I like the image. I think it's really cool. You know, I told my son I would make it for him. Granted, he doesn't care. He's not going to be like, no, mom, not the diamond painting that you said you'd make. He could give a flying crap less, you know, it's just, I, I started it. I spent money on it. I spent effort on it. I would like to finish it, but yeah, I'm just curious. So I think I've already kind of made up my mind, but if you were in my position, okay, what would you do? Would you plug away? you know, try to, try to get over the hump, try to get over the, the annoyance, or would you just throw in the towel? Like, see this one right here? I, I straightened this, this diamond right here. I did straighten it, but it just, it like migrated back to a spot that it shouldn't be. I mean, I don't know if I'm just attaching emotional feelings to this painting um or if my my complaints are valid or if i'm just making too much of it because i i i i i've i've been waffling back and forth back and forth like keep trying just pl push through plug through right push yourself it's good to push yourself to then the complete opposite of you know, forget that. If it's not bringing you joy, why are you doing it? And I just, I don't, yeah. I was really hoping, you know, taking some time away from it, 
working on some other projects that, where is this one even at? That maybe, you know, it would have taken a little, oh my God, seriously. You know, like, oh yeah, I can't wait to get back to that project. But literally I sat down. <laughs> it doesn't help that I'm sitting down after I went to the grocery store earlier, um, which it's never, never puts me in a good mood, I guess. But it's like I sat down and I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna, you know, get the section started, right? I'm just gonna get it started because it's easier to talk and flap your jaws when you have some, some diamonds already down. Okay, where am I even going with this? Where is that one? Oh my gosh, I am so lost. <laughs> Um, okay, this is box number one. That's box number two. Hmm, right there. Um, I thought, you know, just take some deep breaths, finish your smoothie, because you know you're trying to be helpful and take care of your body and give it some nutrients and some protein instead of, you know, just breakfast cereal. But yeah, it did not... The calming thoughts did not last long. Okay, where did that one go? Where did it go? I felt it. Where did it go? Okay, am I just completely losing my dang mind? I felt it fall off. I'll find it randomly. So I can art. I can, yeah, I can feel the diamonds over here coming up. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Um, so yeah. Anywho, I am going to attempt to finish this section because at least then I would have a row, a row finished. Maybe. Uh, there's that one. No, the di mm. It fell off. Seriously, it fell off. Where did it fall off? I don't see. Okay, now I gotta like look at the side. Okay, that one's coming up, so I gotta fix that. Okay, I'm gonna look at it from the side. Where is the diamond? Oh my god, I feel like I'm taking crazy pills right now, and everyone else is like, "No, lady, you're you're losing it." Don't, I don't think I'm losing it. I swear, there was a diamond on the pen. There was. Maybe I just have to single place. Maybe that's the way to go. That had... Oh, wait. I put one there, but I didn't mark it. Hmm. Okay. There's that. And then that. Okay. Fantastic. Look at me go. So right now I am at 11,520 out of 40,000 stitches which is 28.8%. That's decent, right? That's decent. But at the rate I'm going, this thing won't be finished for, for years if I go at that pace. Oh, seriously. Oh, come on, go, go, go. Mm. Okay, I keep scooting this around because I forgot to put the weight on it. So, my apologies. Where is that? Oops, didn't push the button. So, I have a few options, right? I mean, I have more than a few options. Number one, I keep going. I just grin and bear it. Say inappropriate words every time I work on this canvas and probably won't enjoy myself while I'm working on it. Uh, number two, abandon it completely and de-kit the diamonds, making sure to put the art dots with the art dot diamonds because holy moly am I not mixing those with resins, that is for sure. And I think the art dots are fine when they're on a canvas or something like you ran out of drills um, 
and it's a colored background and it's not just the art dot drills because <laughs> uh, I mean this is so bumpy it does not have that satisfying feel to it at all and they keep coming up and again I don't know if that's the drills or I don't know if it's this glue so if you've done a heaven and earth crown jewel canvas what was your experience with the canvas like with the glue the materials I mean I don't know if it's the drills or the glue or just a combination of the two things I mean, Pattern Keeper seems to be behaving itself. Thank goodness. Um, so that's got that going for me. And I'd say my, my putty and my glue dots are behaving, but they are not. But that is not their fault because they behave for every other <laughs> diamond painting kit that I do, except for when I use the art drills. Let's see. Okay, so we have keep working on it and be angry with it. We have abandoned it completely and, you know, de-kit the diamonds, call it a, an experience or, well, not really, or I guess it could be in addition to that, I could try to redeem the pattern you know, because I bought the pattern and luckily with pattern keeper and, you know, having a digital file of the pattern, I could technically try to do the painting again, this time using a different canvas company. I would probably use Evermoment because I've had good luck with Evermoment in the past. Yes, they are pricey. Um, but if you get what you pay for, and I'm going to be spending a lot of time on something, I would rather it be an enjoyable experience instead of a frustrating one. Uh, same thing with the diamonds. I could order the diamonds from somewhere like Evermoment. I don't know if I would do Jada Gym Shop just because I think I could probably get a better deal especially since I need, I forget how many, it says 40,000, but you have to have more than 40,000 diamonds because, you know, you have to account for, uh, what do you call it? It's, you know, trash drills and dropping and all that stuff. Uh, there's that. So I could try to get a canvas, try to do it that way. I could try to do the whole printing a cross stitch pattern like this on paper canvases and then laminate and then try to do the, you know, the double-sided adhesive or the, what do you call it? You know, the glue, like diamond painting with the lines did. And I know Canvas Crafts did it. And I know uh, Katia did it with one of her conversions. So there are options. Um, I just, my fear is I don't know if I want to put forth well right now I know I don't want to put forth the effort to work on oh see I forgot one or it fell out that much effort on a project that I am just not feeling and so I don't know if maybe that's just something to kind of keep brewing in the back of my mind and if I want to work on a conversion project um, I could probably work on the giant one that I have already that I haven't worked on either because technically that's just my laziness that's stopped me from working on that one. Oh, it is so rainy outside. We're having an atmospheric river. So whatever that means, basically it means lots of rain. Oh, power, do not go out on me. Oh, sweet baby Jesus, no. No, no, no. Um, but yeah, those are kind of some of my thoughts. And I, I don't know. I really enjoyed doing conversions for a while. And now I'm just kind of not, not feeling it as much as I was. And so I don't know if I want to start a new conversion project. 
project with a new pattern and spend money on something that what if I just don't want to do it when I start getting all the materials for it? I mean, I know sometimes we get that new new project feeling, you know, it's shiny and like we're excited to work on it, but that shininess can wear off really, really, really fast. And so I'm thinking maybe I just need to, I mean, I'm not going to throw the canvas away, although I don't know what I'm going to do with it if I keep it. Because there's, there's not a, a very good chance that I will want to work on this canvas. Um, just because I know it will frustrate me. Um, but I feel like I should keep it. Maybe, I don't know, maybe it's a reminder or, or it's a good example of like, and I don't know if this is what their canvases are like. That's the thing. Like, I don't want to be crapping all over a company when it could just be a random one-off. Um, so yeah, those are kind of my, those are my thoughts about the whole thing. 964, 964, 964. I mean, I do technically have, well, I have, I have several, <laughs> I have several conversion project canvases or not canvases patterns that I've never you know, kit it up or anything. But again, I just, I don't, ah, push the wrong button. Yeah, I just don't know. I got so many big diamond paintings that I want to do too. And if I do a conversion project, that is going to take away from those canvases that I know I will enjoy doing because they take less brain power and I can not worry about like my number one thing with this project is that I have to work on my dining room table with this project. If any conversion project, really, I can't work on my easel. Uh, so I have to make sure that I clean up after my, where did the thing go off again? <clears throat> that I have to clean up after I'm done. And so I have to make sure that I can in fact finish the section. Uh, because I can't just, like with this plastic, I have to make sure that I tuck this away somewhere away from my cats because they, I mean, plastic is delicious and amazing and they would be chewing on it the second I walked away. So I can't just leave this project out all day. Um, so that kind of makes it difficult to work on as well. So it's more of a production to, to get it out, set it up, and make sure I can actually finish the section uh, before putting it away and all the stuff. Um, okay. We are doing good. Well, I mean, as good as we can do. Okay, where, where was I? Oh my gosh, seriously. How did I, did I screw, oh, I think I screwed that up. Um, oh, and I dropped another drill. Where did it go? It's right there. <laughs> I, I've never, I've never experienced drills that have taken any kind of stickiness off of a putty or a wax or something with these app. It is nuts. I don't even understand. Okay, go in there. Mm. They're all crooked though. Oh, well, there's a little, there's a little piece of alien putty right there. Just look away. There's that. Let's, let's attempt to get this section done. Then I can at least feel like I kind of finished the section, maybe. I may just get frustrated and just forget. <laughs> yep. Yes, um, my husband, he's, I hate it when he's right. Ugh, so frustrating. Because he said, why are you still working on that if it's, if it's making you so mad? 
And I said, well, it's the factor that, you know, I, I started working on it and I spent money on it. And he goes, I don't care about the money. And I said, well, I know, but it's just the factor that, you know, I spent the money on it. And he's like, again, I'm not saying anything about the money. If it's frustrating you, why are you working on it? And I said, well, but, you know, I, I want to finish the picture. And he's like, if you really like the picture that much, then get new materials or, you know, start it on something different. And I'm like, yeah, I know, but... He had some good points, which I hate that. Ugh. So frustrating. Because he's just, he's just sitting there and I'm, you know, griping at the, the stuff. And he's like, why are you doing it if it's so frustrating? I'm like, I keep thinking that it's going to get less frustrating. I don't know why I think that it's going to get less frustrating. I mean, do things is sometimes things get, get less frustrating over time, right? Uh, but it hasn't happened. So he's like, just, you need to just, just put it up. He goes, you don't have to throw it away, but if it's not bringing you, you know, joy and it's making your, your limited crafting time uh, stressful, then why do it? Of course, then I don't have a good answer because it's not like I, I mean, it's not like I signed a contract where I, I have to finish this diamond painting. Otherwise, you know, somebody's going to find me or something like, no, I mean, it's all my own personal pressure. I mean, I don't feel like I'm going to let anybody down. My, my son won't care. He probably doesn't even remember I started this, honestly. If I told him about it, he might mention it, but for the most part, he'd be like, oh yeah, I forgot about that. And I have so many diamond paintings in my stash that, you know, that I want to do. I mean, there's always going to be something shiny and awesome. Oh my gosh, seriously, what is going on with... That. Where am I? Where did I just stop? I don't even know. Okay, and then my kids sending me requests for games on the app store. It's like, you are at school. Why are you sending me video game requests? Because they're not doing anything at school because it's the end of the school. Okay, I think that is... I don't... I feel like I've, I think I've dropped drills on this and now I don't know where I am. Oh my goodness. Um, where, okay, I think. Okay, where, where was it? I don't even know where I left off. This is so maddening. I think I screwed up. Well, you know, I'm, I'm pretty sure I screwed up. <sighs> okay, we're just going to put this color away for right now. <laughs> Where's that? So what is everyone working on? Hopefully it's bringing you joy and not frustration. I did just see... And it'll be old news by the time this probably comes out. Uh, that, excuse me, um, Hannah Lynn is working with some different companies now, uh, which is super exciting for you Hannah Lynn lovers. I have never personally done one of her paintings, so I cannot say that I am a, a super fan. There have been a few that... I thought, oh, that's kind of cute. I kind of like that. But I've never really been able to get one because of the uh, FOMO type situation where they sell out within minutes and then you have to wait and then they get discontinued. 
so I've never I've never really gone down the Hanalin rabbit hole to say. Uh, so I was excited, kind of, that because she's going to Art and Soul, that um, because you order your stuff from Art and Soul and then it's made, uh, so it's a little bit you know different than some of the bigger diamond painting companies uh, that you know it's kind of made when you order it so you don't really have the fear of it completely selling out instead of you know with like diamond art club dreamer designs you know places where they have all their diamonds their diamond painting kits made and then they're stored in a warehouse or whatever uh at art and soul you know you order it and yeah it might take you you know between two to four weeks to get your diamond painting but you get to pick i think if you want squares or rounds you get to pick you want you know maybe crystals added in or spe what kind of special drills potentially uh, so you have a little few more options uh, but she said in her newsletter i think it was that there were they were going to have over a hundred a hundred different pieces that were with other companies that you know got discontinued sold out whatever it may be so if you had a Hanlin that you, you know, were really bummed you missed out on, like maybe you're trying to get a whole set of, you know, mermaids or cats or, you know, something, I don't know, um, then you have a chance. So I, I like that because the FOMO thing drives me up the wall. I mean, I don't want to be chained to my computer on a Saturday morning to to try to get the latest richard lorenz or the latest spangler and then have my my day be ruined because i didn't get it you know and i mean i'm not saying anybody's like you know you suck if you do that whatever i am not saying that i just for me i don't want to start off my weekend like that and you know the weekend is one of the few times where you know my kids are home my husband's home so i don't really want to be sitting there like sorry guys i can't pay attention to you because i need to try to get this new handle in from diamond art club or whatever so i'm excited about that i may actually i may actually order a hand and lynn because i can and i can take my time and not you know feel like i have to basically jump the gun and you know be the fastest person to order or whatever or have it get the worst was when you have something in your cart and you order it and you think you got it and then it gets refunded and they're like oh no sorry your order got canceled that mm, i've never had that happen with the diamond painting company but i've had that happen with other things or it's been oversold and then you just don't get the thing you want so i think that's great and i hope it's a good i hope it's a good licensing deal for her and i hope it's a good licensing deal for art and soul and I am currently working on my second uh, second art and soul painting. And I am really, really happy with the quality. And everything has been top notch in my opinion. Oops, might help if I push the the button so it doesn't go away. I mean there's been there's been trash drills, but I mean I've had premium kits from other companies that have had trash drills and glue has been sticky you know stickers have come unstuck on the the bottles the the customer service has been great uh, so yeah if you're if you're on the fence don't be i mean obviously there's going to be hiccups with any company so I'm not, you know, I'm not saying they're perfect or anything like that. I'm just saying if you're hesitant, um, I think if you enjoy some of the other premium companies that I think you will like them. And yes, some of them are a little more um, confetti heavy. Uh, they are working to do some hand rendering or, you know, hybrid, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but that takes time to you know build up those 
those skills. And again, it is still a small business. And uh, the more, the more, the more people you hire on, um, you know, then you have to pay people because people won't work for free. And so, you know, then a smaller business already is going to have to charge a little bit more than, you know, a giant business that can. Where did that diamond go? I mean, it's like, you know, Walmart versus a mom and pop shop. Yeah, Walmart can make their prices ridiculously cheap because they order a billion of something instead of, you know, hundreds of something. So that is why I try whenever possible to, to test out small shops and to, you know, see what, see what they got cracking. And then I can share my experiences and my opinions because I got lots of opinions with you guys and I realize unfortunately like you know not everybody can can spend however much on a diamond painting you know it's it's supposed to be a relaxing hobby you should not be putting yourself into debt with your hobby um I I think I have about 30 paintings in my stash and that kind of makes me nervous honestly like I know there's people that have more and you know some have less whatever there's no magic number as to how many paintings you need to have uh, you know my concern is I don't want to buy a ton of paintings because there's always going to be a shiny shiny new painting that I want or that I want to do or purchase or you know whatever so I don't feel like I'm ever going to be like, man, I just don't like any diamond paintings that are coming out anymore. I don't see that happening. Uh, and another thing is, where did I already do that one? I think I did. Um, I don't want to have a bunch of paintings and then have them decide, like, you know, when they make improvements, because I mean, if you, I've only been diamond painting for a year. And I've already seen, you know, Im these are improved drills. These are our improved canvas. Um, so I can't even imagine if people have been, you know, buying diamond paintings for, you know, four years, five years, the amount of changes that have come and gone since you started, it must be a lot. <laughs> um, so I think for me personally, is that I would, I mean, like this, this project is frustrating me. Uh, so I would worry that if I'm used to working on newer kits with newer materials, newer drills, newer this, newer that, am I going to be frustrated when I work on an older kit in my stash? But I'm going to have to work on the older kits in my stash because, you know, I have them. So I should work on them, right? Come on. There's that. Where is that? Oh, jeez. Oh, and I didn't even say what I was using. I just, this is a Bella Art Dana Cole tray. This is a pen from Jim's Pen Shop on Etsy. Heaven and Earth Canvas. I already said the pattern is from Unconventional Cross Stitch. Okay, I'm going to do one more color and then I, I'm feeling very frustrated. So I just should stop. Let's do the little column Coliseum one. And if you're not in my uh, Facebook group and you would like to do so, I will have a link in the description box down below. Push the button. Come on, Kristen, get it together. Get it together. Yeah, I messed up real good on this one. That's fair. And um, I, I don't have any questions you have to ask, but I do have to approve it just so it's not spam. So if I don't answer it in a timely manner, I'm not I'm not trying to like screen you. It's just I I don't have any alerts set up on my phone because uh, I can't handle my phone beeping and buzzing and booping all day long. Uh, so I don't have any notifications on my phone besides, you know, text messages, phone calls, that kinds of thing. Uh, so I will get to it. I promise. 
Um, and if you are interested in getting a Pippi the Crafty Peep sticker, this is Poolside Pippi. There is a Google Doc you can fill out. They are completely free. Um, I just ask, you know, a few basic questions, you know, name, address, you know, email in case something goes wrong, etc., etc. Okay, I'm going to do one more. Just one more, I know. I just said I was going to do one more. Now I'm going to do one more. Okay, number 26, which is not actually number 26. It is number 169. Uh, and then, if you are interested in the Poolside Pippi, release papers from Bee's Crafty Corner. I will also have a link down below for that as well. Why is that green right there? That makes no sense. Some of the rendering I will say on this is I think unnecessary confetti. Just just my opinion. Okay, that is not even the right square. I have I have messed this up so bad. I know I have. And what else? What else? What else? I think that's it. So yes, please let me know your, your two cents. If this was your canvas, if this was your project, what would you do? I am genuinely interested. I'm not, I'm not a hundred percent decided on what I'm going to do, but I do think this will be the last square on this particular physical canvas that I, I do. The frustration has not gone down. It is only magnified. And I mean, the fact that alien putty is getting so dirty that it's not sticking. I mean, come on, come on, come on drills. Don't be so dirty. I can't even say it's just one color because it's multiple colors. So please let me know what you would do. I am genuinely curious. Cur I almost said curious. <laughs> I am canurious, guys. I really am. Okay, there is that. So we are just going to zoom that out and call that a day, I think. So let me see if I can unzoom and not completely bungle things up. There we go. Oh, it's shaking. I'm sorry. So that that is it on this particular canvas for the day, potentially forever. <sighs> yeah. So this is not, this is not my typical stuff, guys. Like I'm, I'm very torn. I'm very, very torn about this whole process, but I think the best option is to just call it good, which is really sad because I love this. I love it. It's so cool looking. I really, mm. I want to do it, but I'm worried that if I try, and I'm just like, I'm just rambling here at this point. So I'm worried that if I try to do it on another canvas, that I'm just going to be potentially dreading it. I don't know. I don't know. Mm. Anyways, I need, I need assistance. I need assistance or reassurance that what I'm thinking I'm going to do is the right thing. <laughs> so that is it for today. Guys, if you would not mind, please consider liking, subscribing, sharing, hearting, farting, doing all the things. And I will see you guys again very, very soon. Big awkward hugs. Bye guys.